All right, here we have the Heathkit model H0-10 monitor scope. And uh, just turned it on here a minute ago. I wanted to show you that it is appears to be working. At least it has a nice bright trace there. Um, I do not know, you know, I don't have any things uh, connected to the unit, but um, as you can see there, it does that. Uh, here's your uh, vertical, uh, horizontal vertical positioning here, left and right, up and down. Um, and then this is, oh, there we go. Let me see, you turn this for width maybe? Oh, okay. These controls are probably dirty. It's been sitting a long time. Yeah, I see that they're dirty. There we go. In any case, um, let's see if we can't get back to the single. So there it is. And here's your how you turn it up off and on. We wouldn't turn it off. It has a little uh, pilot light there. It shows you that it's on. And so it'll slowly go out. <laughs> anyway, it's in a very nice physical condition all the way around. All the knobs seem to turn fine. And um, it's the front panel is just really pretty. Um, a lot of times these things are pretty beat up. That's uh, getting to be a little on the dated side. Uh, but if you have the Heathkit gear, and even if you don't, it's a nice little monitor scope. Here's your connections on the back. Uh, horizontal tone, vertical on the bottom. Here's your, how you connect your uh, exciter or transceiver or transmitter and antenna right there. And um, attenuator maybe? Not sure. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's the unit. It does have one slight little ding in the case. Not on this side, but on the other side. I'm going to show you that. Other than that, though, it's quite nice. Right here toward the top. I don't know if that'll pop out or not. It's just right here. It's kind of pushed in. So it uh, gives it that effect. But uh, that's the dent or ding. Other than that, pretty nice. The Heathkit Model HO10 Monitor Scope.